yesterday we talked about maybe your purpose not measuring that your program's not measuring up to your purpose and today we're going to talk about you choosing to remove fear that you may not measure up to someone else that is the that is the passage for today from dr shad helmstetter's book 365 days of positive self-talk for finding your purpose i'm lenny wennerstrom and i am here to guide you in your quest to find your purpose and it is a beautiful task one i absolutely enjoy immensely thank you for joining me on the journey and today is may 8th day 129 and here is your passage for today i choose forever forever to remove the fear that i might not measure up to someone else i'm going to read that again i choose forever to remove the fear that i might not measure up to someone else I never measure my life by the expectations of others. I live my life based on my own positive expectations to live each day in the very best way. And every day, I measure up to me. You, you measure up to you. Is that not fantabulous, beautiful, empowering, self-belief, self-care, self-love, self-love? <laughs> self-love it's amazing it's amazing when we when we love ourselves it's amazing when we believe in ourselves and when we come onto this planet and we are born and we come in with a blank slate a blank slate that is with the meter at just powered on like it, here's neutral, powered on, powered all the way on to the very, very tippy top, full, full of promise and potential when you're born. And then you start getting, you start getting programmed. You start getting these programs that tell you who you can't be, what you can't do, but not right away, typically. You know, it's like, I mean, they, they, they start happening. It just depends on your life, you know? If you grew up in a reasonably positive household you have heard at least you have heard no what you can't do and and what you what can't happen you have heard that at least and this has been estimated 148,000 times and now tell me how many times have you heard can you count that you can do things that you can be whatever you want to be and all the time, like consistently. I'm talking about consistently. You have heard, no, what you can't do, what can't happen, what can't be done. And and so the, the beauty of rewiring your brain with programs that uplift you, that support you, that power you to be and do whatever it is that you want to do is very simple to do, very simple. All you have to do is passively listen. Passively listen for 15 minutes a day. It, you could, at, in the morning and at night. So, and, and when I say passively, so 30 minutes of your day when you're doing something else. So you can do it. You can put those, you can put, press play and let that go in. And just like you got those programs when you were a baby with full of promise and potential, your eyes were wide open in that bassinet, wherever you were born, whatever you were in. My daughter happened to be in a, in a, uh, a plastic tub. <laughs> what do you call the laundry tub? <laughs> and, but anyway, her eyes were wide open. I didn't know what I know now, I wish I did. But your little peepers were wide open and they were just like searching for that unlimited potential and that promise of reaching and being all that you can be and more because it's unlimited until you take your last breath. And what happens? What I just said, we get programmed with, with, and, and it's repeated, repeated, repeated to us. And then we start repeating that to ourselves. That's repeated by our parents, our grandparents, our siblings, our 
our peers, our teachers, our spiritual leaders, our religious leaders, our just our coaches, you know, in, in sports when we're young and, you know, you, little Johnny, you're going to sit on the sidelines because you're not fast enough and, and all of these, all of these things, or maybe it's, you know, uh, maybe it's Becky is like the best sprinter in the world. So Becky, you go out and you win every single time you go, you go, you go the star, right? And so she can do it. She can do it. So she's getting these programs that I can do this. I can, and she get, and they get stronger and stronger and stronger. Those programs, because they're repeated by her parents, probably if she grew up in a reasonably positive home, she's heard no, at least 148,000 times, but it was balanced by coaches and her peers. And, and as she got faster and faster, did she get faster and faster? Yes. But what helped her to reach that potential? It, it, her, of course, her hard work, but she had that under, she had that, that foundation of support that she was believed in. So she believed in herself and she could do it. And she did. So this is a fictional Bicky, Becky, <laughs> but do you get what I'm saying? So little Johnny sitting on the sidelines, always wanting to play, you know, the, be the receiver or be wide back, or I don't know what they, <laughs> as a cheerleader, I should know this stuff, but I really wasn't interested in, in, in the, the games or the, the rules of the games. I just wanted to cheer and have fun. So anyway, this is, these are programs and they get wired in. So little Johnny sits out, sits out, sits out. And how do you think he feels at the end of the season? And if he, if, if at home, his parents are saying, and his coach is saying, work out more. You can do this. You can do this next year. I'm counting on you. Just, you know, if he has that, that's wonderful. But if he has something, even in his own mind, misgivings, because his parents are like, uh, we're paying for these jerseys and all this stuff. Do you really think you should be doing this? Maybe you should like look at track or, or maybe you want to find an instrument to play or something. These things happen. These are real stories, by the way. So what happens to little Johnny? He starts believing that he can't do it. And then he starts telling himself, I can't do it. I can't do it. And where does that go in his life? Everywhere. And are we comparing ourselves to other people, which makes us even have low, lower self-esteem rather than having a strong self-esteem? So I share this because all of this is very simple. It's very, very simple. And when I found it, as I've shared before, I just stopped and I added to my, to my practical spirituality what I teach. I added the human experience. In, in a in a pretty much in its own not pretty much but its own leg so it's the it's the journey it's the spiritual journey and then it's the human experience because when we get that we were born on planet earth to have unlimited promise and potential to be and do anything that we want to be we're not out there comparing ourselves to others thinking that we're less than and we're and, and if and if there is, it's not so much a comparison, but it's somebody it's more like we want to emulate them. We want to be more like them. They inspire us. That's who you want to surround yourself with. People who inspire you, people who are financially strong, if that's where where you feel you need some help. By the way, these the self-talk, these the self-talk tracks, the programs, these sessions will help you immensely with that. They will help you with every single area of your life. And so the more that we are feeling that we are less than someone else or we're not measuring up to what someone else thought we should be because we're not doing what they said we should do or even society. Do we measure up to are we young enough? It took me forever to, to look at my face and not go, you're old. <laughs> it really did. I mean, I'm laughing, but it's still a struggle. I'll look in the mirror. It's like, wow. You know, sometimes it's a program and I'm playing my self-talk for self-esteem to just accept me for who I am. And I'm having really good success at it because most of the time I go up to a mirror and I'm like, you go girly, you know, and I smile at myself and I say, you are awesome. 
I had to learn that. And using the self-talk, it wasn't so much about learning, it was rewiring my brain. So now when I look at, you know, my younger pictures or anything like that, for the most part, it's just like, man, that was a wondrous, fantabulous time. And, and instead of like, I wish I could go back like 20 years, man, the things I could do, you know, if I just knew what I knew today, no, you and me, we are exactly where we need to be. And you are here. If you're listening to this, I am hoping that you are really understanding the impact that this could have for you of downloading that app and starting to rewire your brain. Look up neuroplasticity if you haven't. N-E-U-R-O-P-L-A-S-C-I-T-Y. Neuroplasticity. The brain is malleable. It's plastic. And you can form new neural pathways. And you can actually see these with the, the technology that we have today that light up when someone's excited and happy or they're angry or they're, they think they can or they think they can't or they're excited about life or they're not. You can see it. You can see it light up. And many other, many other emotions and situations. So this is very, very, this is science. You can take it to the bank until science changes, but I'm telling you, <laughs> because it's only going to get better, what's found with the brain. Your brain is your, I call it a shiny bright toy, but it is your, your machine, your computer. It is your, your way to the most amazing life you could ever have. It is absolutely yours. It is more it is more it is more valuable than anything you could ever have more valuable because you can change anything about you you still have that unlimited potential it's just covered with other programs it's just covered up covered up and you get to unwind and cover with new programs that benefit you new programs for self esteem for self-love, for, um, for happy relationships, for st strong financial, feeling strong uh, financially, for your career, for your health, for losing weight, for getting to sleep, for all kinds of things, all areas, every single area, personal growth, spiritual growth, absolutely every single area of your life. So, I hope that is helpful. And I know I'm a little more serious today because this is like a serious topic. <laughs> I want you to get it. I want you to get it. Because when you get it, you are the one in charge of your life. You are the one creating your life. You can do and be and change absolutely anything that you want to. And it's all here. I said it before that your abundance is between your ears. I have that on one of my, the shorts on a YouTube short. And it's true. I think it's on Instagram too. It's true. Your brain is, that, that is your tool. That is your gift to be and do and change and become absolutely anything that you want to do. You can reach the highest heights and the way to get there, the best way that I know how and science has proven it, neuroscience, is positive self-talk. Because right now, over 77% of your programs that are running right now are negative and they're harmful and they stop you from doing what you want to do. And you can switch that around very quickly, right? 21 days to change a habit. Others say 66, but where did that 21 days come from? From neuroscience, from researchers. 21 days to change a habit. Now, it might take longer. It just depends on your intention. It depends on the emotions that you put into it. It depends. It really depends on you. But you just start and you're going to see a difference. You're going to feel a difference. You're going to feel more uplifted. I mean, I'm not going to tell you how you're going to feel, but I'm, I'm pretty sure <laughs> based on my clients and based on myself and based on my friends who I've shared it with and my family, 
that these are the things that you will most likely feel. You, you will probably feel positive after just a couple of days, like you'll wake up a little more positive, feeling a little more, a little better about things. It's, it's really a joy, joyful thing to find. It's very, very powerful, very, very empowering. So just think if you had self-esteem, like your self-esteem was through the roof, there'd be no comparing yourself to anyone else. In fact, you'd be cheering them on. You'd be saying, you go, girly, you go, boyo, whatever it is, you go, you go, and just be supporting and uplifting. You, you would never have a thought like kind of in the back of your mind, like, man, I hope they, hope they fall. I hope they, <laughs> I think many of us have had those kinds of thoughts about depending on the situation or circumstances. But when you get to a place where your programs are, you know, you, where you are now, your self-esteem is so high, so strong, then you are supporting and encouraging them to just keep on going, keep on going. And you're telling them, you can do it. I believe in you. And you know what? It's because you believe in you. You believe in yourself because you know you can do it. And there is no reason to compare or to measure up to what someone wants you to be or it's only you. It's the measure of you. Self-esteem is the measure of you. How do you feel about yourself? Do you like yourself when you look in the mirror? It's that self-esteem. And if someone is better than you, your self-esteem is lower, right? Because how could someone possibly be better than you? You were born with all the same promise and potential as that person. Absolutely. And they're doing something that you wish you could be doing or that you think you could do better, but then you don't really believe in yourself. So this is really a key one tonight because we talked about do your programs measure up to your purpose? And we're talking about your mental programs here. What are your mental programs telling you? And if, and if your purpose and it, finding your purpose, once you find your purpose, everything else starts to click for you because you do have that, that direction that you just start feeling like you have meaning in your life. You know where you're going. You know what you're doing. And you may not know exactly how it's going to unfold, but you all of a sudden you know what you're about and why you're here. So I'm going to come on here every single day and help you to find your purpose. If, you, if you've already found your purpose, and I'm talking about an overarching, I keep saying that there are many, we have many purposes. I'm talking about an overarching purpose that, that, will, that drives you once, you once you actually find it and, and it feels so good. It's, so, it's just with ease that you, you do things, like getting up and speaking in front of a class of first graders, like a teacher, right? It just feels so good and so easy and, and you just absolutely love it. And, or you, or you are really good at sports or you're really good at figuring out problem solving, or you're really good at, um, traveling and taking great pictures and, you know, so photography, you're just really good at something and it's just so easy for you. That's a gift. That's a talent. And, and that is more than likely part of your purpose. And it's, it's a tool, it's part of your purpose, and it's easy because that is what's going to help you in your, when you develop your skills towards your purpose that you find. And it's amazing. So then you will not be comparing yourself to others. You will not be trying to measure up to what somebody thinks that you should be. Not, not a, a wife or a husband or, or a parent or a coach or, or anyone not a sibling, not a, another family member, not society, Like you should be younger, you should be stronger, you should be thinner, thinner, you should be fatter with more weight on you. You know, if you're a, a real slender guy, you should be bigger, you should have more muscle. You look like that scrawny, how many times have you seen that little, the 98 pound weakling, weakling on the beach? What is that? What is that program? What is that telling you if you are a, a slender guy? Like what, what have you been called? Beanpole? All these kinds of things? You know, first of all, calling people names and putting them in a category, that's called separation. And we are one. So literally, when you are judging someone, 
you were saying, I'm right, they're wrong, right? They shouldn't be wearing that dress. Why? Why shouldn't they be wearing that dress? Those colors clash. They shouldn't be wearing those shoes. They shouldn't be driving that car. They think they're all that because they've got this house, that family, this. This, is, this all comes from a low self-esteem. We're throwing arrows at people. Sometimes we don't even know them. Maybe they're on television. And we sit there and we judge and judge and judge. And we create separation. We create separation. If we all come from the one energy, the one consciousness, the one God, and we are all individual expressions of that, we are one. We go back to that. We are just enjoying the experience of having that individual expression. So why would we knock one another down? And why would we try and be something that somebody else expects us to be? All of that is just this 3D world and that's part of the experience and it's not wrong or right, good or bad. It's how you perceive it. If you perceive it wrong or right or good or bad, then it is because you create your own reality. Okay, so let's read the, the passage one more time. By the way, I am accepting new clients for coaching. So if you would like to be coached, by the way, another thing, I said another, but by the way, before this, because I don't think I finished my thought, very unlike me not to finish my thought yesterday, but the, if you are part of the self, of the, the self-talk app, that language of positive self-talk if you if you download that, that that is in the description you get 30 days free thereafter it's 19.99 a month and you can have up to five more people on it with you so up to six people and not you don't pay anything else so everyone in the household can, or anyone wherever can be listening to that to that app and and helping themselves to change their programs can you imagine if every single one of us rewired our brains with positivity with can-do attitude, with high self-esteem, like really strong self-esteem, so that we're not having low self-esteem, it would be an amazing world. And we wouldn't be listening, we wouldn't be watching television, we wouldn't be getting involved in things. Our programs tell us like what party, political party, we're going to belong to. Our programs tell us what religion. Our programs tell us a lot of stuff. And, and so when you reprogram, rewire your brain. You get to choose your programs. If you, if you have a very strong belief in something, keep that program. It, it, this, this, doesn't, this doesn't change. Like your, this opens up like to where you can do anything. That's what it does. It gives you high self-esteem. It, it tells you you can um, create the income that you deserve and want to. This tells you you can have the relationships that you want that work for you with you loving yourself and knowing that you are in control of your life. This helps you to lose weight and, and feel fit and strong. It's for health and fitness. It's also for losing weight. These are the types of programs with self-esteem. They're all very, very foundational, very foundational programs. So, and all you do is listen 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes at night while you're getting ready, while you're driving. It's, it's a nothing. It's, I mean, you don't have to expend any time doing it. Okay, here is, here's your passage one more time. And we'll wrap this up. Such a serious topic tonight. <laughs> I just really want you to get it. And I forgot to tell you, yes, I'm opening up. Um, I've opened up my, my schedule for more coaching clients. And, and where I was going was when you get the self-talk app, there's free coaching that you can get on Tuesdays and Saturdays. It is not individual, but it's very helpful. I go, I go whenever I can, because I love it. I learn to become a better person. I learn to become a better coach. I learn to use the, the sessions better. I, I, I learn a lot. I learn the questions that some of the people have so that I, again, I can be a better coach. And, um, and it's, it's just, you know, it's educational and it's informational and it's very helpful to me. So that's why I go, but you can go for free. And then you could hire me as your personal coach to just listen to you and guide you. And you could, we could work together because you'd be changing those programs by listening and I'd be guiding you 
to have success in every single area of your life. So that's the good news and wonderful news. Okay, let me read the passage now. I choose forever to remove the fear that I might not measure up to someone else. I never measure my life by the expectations of others. I live my life based on my own positive expectations to live each day in the very best way. And every day, I measure up to me. You measure up to you. Isn't that fantabulous and exciting? I'll let you know when my rebranded podcast comes out. It's just going to be called Lenny Motivates instead of, uh, what, what is it? Um, Wild and Free Healthy You. So I'm rebranding that. And I think that'll probably June, the first, the first part of June or the end of May is when the first episode will come out. The rebranded. There's plenty of episodes on there now, but I haven't been doing it for a couple of years just because I didn't really, I, I was just moving away from health. Did you see that bird go by? <laughs> just moving. Look, the sunset. Isn't it gorgeous? I like to come out here. This is a good time for me because I have most of my work done and can um, have the time to do what I can to get this up. You know, sometimes it takes a little bit to, to get it up on, on YouTube. But anyway, that's the story. So I'll let you know when that comes out. And I love you so very, very mucho. You can do this. You can find your purpose. You can click that link and download the self-talk app and start rewiring your programs. You can rewire your brain. Yes, you can. And I believe in you. As always, shining my light, shining my light to brighten yours. I love you so very mucho. See you tomorrow. Ciao.